One thing, I don't know why. It doesn't even matter if you... Alright. So, did anybody figure out... Uh, what the fuck I'm doing here? Uh, remove the thorn. So, gob... Gob... Fucking... Mm. It's upsetting. Why not this one? Crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. Princess and the two thieves. Fucking Christ. Here we are. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that. Steal, 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 steal. Oh, well, I probably remember. I have it memorized, but I'm gonna look anyway. One time, one winter day, fucking God, I hate this. It's so padded. It's so fucking padded. Oh. Spoons and plates, forks and knives and blankets. I don't see any of those things. Spoon. What if they took some spoons? Yeah. Maybe they took some of the princesses. No. Maybe spoons not. and plates, forks and knives, and blankets. What else? Oh, something disappeared in another room. Oh, uh, when it's uh, looking behind the curtains under the bed, uh, behind the poles under the covers, she found nothing. She was searching. Ah, uh, could you Im could you fucking imagine reading through this whole goddamn thing at the beginning of the game where they introduce it, only to find out that you have to like keep referencing it every single chapter in this stupid game? Could you imagine? <laughs> Nut. Cake. Cake was so big. If I managed to. Be <sighs> the lock had opened. The cake had disappeared. The cake. She knows two trails. Cake. Where's the cake? I don't see a fucking cake. The cake's right there. What else? Oh my god. Food was disappearing. Fruits and nuts and eggs were vanishing. Okay. Eggs. Fruits. I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Maybe they did. There we go. Jesus fruit. Christ. That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. <laughs> My favorite drawing. <laughs> uh, the prettiest princess. All right. So we got that. What the fuck is the this? The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking. The old bear's gifts for the princess. How cool. What riveting fucking gameplay. There was the bear and the princess, but I don't know if that's like specific title. Bear and the princess. <sighs> okay, you can come down. I hate this. It, none of it's like, it's not like a good story. It's not well written, this or the game. Uh, fine, get, this is like, this is, this is like school. <laughs> Like, oh, where did it, I gotta find the answer in the textbook that I'm not gonna read. <laughs> Just gonna skim for the fucking answer. Uh, okay. Salmon, ripe berries, bloomed boob, bloop, bluebell? 
What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check? Fuck you! Fish. A den. Which one represents fish, though? This? Fresh caught salmon. Okay. Is this a den? Some roses, maybe? Actually, I'm not sure. It's like hidden behind shit. A newly bloomed bluebell? Well, wait. Maybe. A handful of ripe berries? Maybe not. What about the den? Some honey? Actually, I'm not sure. Hazelnuts. Okay, well, the bluebell. Maybe not. A handful of ripe berries? A newly bloomed. Bluebell. All right. It didn't specify that it gave that to her, right? It said that he picked it. I don't remember yeah. it saying. Well, I just skimmed yeah. over it anyway. Just couldn't let go. <sighs> ah, taking a sip of my drink. Excuse me. I'm just pouring some more club soda into the drink to mix it. I am stirring the drink. I have a glass of ice, but the cup is full. So I will add ice as it goes. Just letting giving you a play by play on my drink because that is infinitely more interesting than this game, as we already know. The very old bears beavers okay, we did that one. We did this one. Her cruel parents kept her locked away in a rusty palace. And then the crafty goblins, crafty good, goblins deeds. good deeds. Of course. What the story? Goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest. Tell me the story. The uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. To pay off their debt to the pelican. Pelican thing was over here, right? Uh. Pelican forgives the goblins. <clears throat> <sighs> Handful of shrimp? No, they scarfed it. Scallops? They scarfed it. What do they give, though? I will share my food with you, but you must in return follow my example and be as generous as you are to others. Take to the heart of what you've done. You've paid nothing to give. You have nimble hands and crafty brains and loving hearts, said the pelicans. The crafty goblins realize this is bullshit. I hate your fucking mom. I hate your mom so much. This is terrible. This is a bad story. <laughs> she deserved to die in a video game. Okay, they climbed on top of a tree with a hive that dropped it, cracking it open. Finally, they found the princess, blah, 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 blah. They were done. They returned to the pious pelican. Does it feel good to be... It did. I still don't understand what they gave. Uh, Hands, brains, and hearts? Is that it? They... Okay, they found the moose with a spot... They scratch the moose's back, the bear, its characters. Uh, moose, bear, and princess. All right. Scratch. <laughs> the option was scratch. <laughs> they broke open the beehive for the bear. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Nailed it. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. Or if our mom wasn't a fucking psycho. Okay. Uh... <sighs> Tell me why. Don't nod. This is the last one. I haven't done this one. Why is this one not... Why can't I click on it? I haven't done that one. 
Why can't I click on it anymore? Why can't I? This is the one I haven't done. Why can't I click on? I don't have an option. No, I didn't solve. I didn't solve this one. This is the one I. This is the only one I haven't solved. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I guess we could stay a little longer. I skipped it when I brute fun. forced the box. Oh, that was to for me to get the LEO thing. No, because I had this option after. I had this option. I had this. I clicked on this twice after I opened the box. I'm missing out on an achievement for sure. I feel like the game glitched. I had this option twice after I opened the box. Oh. I swear to God. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. I'm missing out on an achievement for sure. Not like I need it, but... Watch this! Reflect. Reflecting noises. <laughs> You're not even thinking or saying anything! This is the spot. Okay. <laughs> I, th I thought you were just doing like a kneel for the anthem type thing. We played Compass and North Star here. I wish she would have just told us. She lied to me and she hates me. I knew she kept a few things to herself, but it's like she had this whole other life and she tried to pretend like none of it ever happened. Maybe she thought she could just wish it away if she tried hard enough. What are you thinking? I've become so numb, I can't feel you there. Become so tired, so much more aware. And becoming this, all I want to do is be more like me and be less like you. And I know. I feel I yeah, I feel sad or something, but I'm just kind of stunned. Poor Marianne. Come on, let's keep going. Singing noises, <laughs> self-reflection noises. Oh man. Let's figure it out by using our flawed memories. Like, we're, we're gonna figure this out using our superpowers, even though we've clearly established, like, earlier in the shop, we have conflicting versions of history. We're not even really sure what the fuck has happened. So I don't know how we're supposed to figure shit out with this superpower. Just like, oh yeah, let's look at our memories. Like, we can't even agree on which of our memories is the right one. So what good does this do in the story? This is just bull- it's all made up! You can't even possibly know! We've established that it's unreliable! Because there's several different options! Maybe they wanted options in the game? Like, pretend choices and they didn't realize that that conflicted with the main mechanic? <sighs> Becky is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she she must have. I swear she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Let's fuck. Call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. This isn't bad well, music. It's Allison. Okay, phone. We need to talk. Don't get we stuck in the wrist. <laughs> it might. I, I'm not confident about her ability to put her phone back in her pocket. You can't hear any music? What are you talking about? The music was super loud. Let 
let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Oh, my back hurts. Father. Who is this? Tom Nook? Have we met this character? Yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything. He was in the shop? Well, that was I don't rough. fucking remember this guy. Was he the guy at the computer? If not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cool Tessa's design. husband? Okay. Maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. <laughs> Those hand movements? I supported it. Just putting things in his pockets as he's talking. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You were the voice to acting home. and the hand movements are just so awful. Oh my you god. Say, Holy bad. shit. They can't do it. They can't animate characters. I had to do They're trying. Thing. Attempts are being made. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment. But she threatened my life. <laughs> so you just decided to let her drown? The voice I acting. Didn't decide anything. Everything Why was decide in like panicked. like a fucking RP? Town. Brown was already on his way out. Shouldn't that be in quotes? Nothing else I could do. What was that? What was the, what were the asterisks for? Maybe in capital letters or something? Is it, or like italics is what you meant to do? What the fuck? I just chose- I chose both of these options already! I chose both of these already! What do you want? I chose both of these already! Why am I- <laughs> You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler on- I should have done one first is what the implication is? Like, what do you mean? I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want? to say I panicked I was terrified that this whole thing was gonna blow up in my face I had to do something okay I have to use the memory option space bar there we go I mean trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face. Hey kids, why are you just really standing there silently? Was there anything else he could have done that night? I don't know, Ellie. I'd rather not think about it. He's not even the least bit sorry for what he did. He could have seriously hurt you. Yeah, he's just a fucking coward. He's just a blind, whimpering, Coward. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. <laughs> you have to make. Okay. <laughs> now I get the option. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want, as long as none of this gets out. Excuse me. You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. Is it killer? Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. <laughs> it never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... 
This is a terrible story. I don't give a shit about anything. Never said anything. This revelation. Oh, Lord. You should try this story sucks. Wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. Tom, go fucking make things up with Isabel or whatever and get on with the fucking island. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. That was convenient for you, huh? You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame her <laughs> crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was a very I like how the climax of this game is just some other dude she showing up so at the fucking house. <laughs> like so the way I And they have a conversation. <laughs> Caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am oh, I yeah, there's a campaign. Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret. None of this matters. <laughs> what? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Mary and Lily died. I mean, it's self-defense either way. Fucking asshole. That night, I came out here because I was worried about you. I hate mother. your voice acting. It's so important. I can't believe these revelations of these things that I wanted to know this entire time. It's so impactful. I'm glad we finally solved the mystery. What did they do? They made me do it. They made me do it. Why did they do it? This is fault. This is fault. They made her do what? I'm still a little confused, honestly. <laughs> so her pointing the shotgun at him was like slightly before she tried to kill her child? Like... What's wrong with your sleeve? What's going on? Mad Hunter. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Fuck. What was the memory of her shooting the, like, almost killing the dude on the pier then? What was that? What? Oh, was, was their memory of her pointing the gun at him something she wanted to do? Or was that just like another day? What? So she didn't even do anything. She just went and said hi to her kid with a shotgun in her hand. So you're a fucking murderer, Allison. This wasn't even self-defense. This doesn't make any goddamn no. sense. No way. You're a fucking liar. I saw what I saw. Uh, Maybe. Ah! You're manipulating us. Uh, you manipulated uh, us. Uh, Tyler, uh, you're listening to this, are you? <laughs> So bad. They should have. They should have put the effort noises oh, subtitle there. Dies. That that would have made it <laughs> so much better. His name will be all but clear, but you, you'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? 
What would your mother think? Again, Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Run away don't, and never return. <laughs> <laughs> Oosh! You know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please think twice before making. None of this right. makes any sense. Still, there are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone, and never come back. But <laughs> give me phone hand. <laughs> it's what we need right now. So what was her pointing the gun at the dude? Was that a fake memory? Or are you gonna figure it out right now? Okay. Was that whole scene you know a lie that he was telling? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all of these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head? I mean, he just put it there now. I just said ever since we started, idiot. We keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. What <laughs> is that? She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. I mean, Tyler's the one that was going to be killed. You want to trust him on this? Tyler's the one that was about to be killed if that happened. If Tyler remembered that improperly, that's a big deal. <laughs> This is so stupid. Why do they suck at re Come on. I get it. You were kids. It was a traumatic event. But you'd probably be going over that in your head immediately after anyway. It's not like you would come out of it with a complete wrong impression of what just happened. They're so stupid. All right, let's ask him about it. <laughs> so slow now. Whoa! Dude, Pride Rock! Why?! None of this matters! Get on with it! The artistic choices here are irrelevant! They're not purposeful! They're bullshit! They're forced! This is so forced! <laughs> we got two options here now. <gasps> Who's got the better memory? Pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. I guess I'll watch the other ending on YouTube. Is what I'll do. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I got a piece so bad. I'll be right back. Alright, the epic finale of... truth are we no because we're both we're fucking we're stupid and our memory is unreliable despite that being our superpower apparently yeah. i guess at this point 
You just got to tell me why. To decide what you believe. So it doesn't really. So facts don't even matter. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with. You gotta, like, make a hard. Nothing is nuanced. You can't possibly walk away from this situation saying, well, maybe this happened and maybe it didn't. You can't possibly do that. What you need to do right now is make a hard decision on one of two options because nothing is nuanced. You gotta decide one way or the other and then completely ignore any evidence to the contrary for the rest of your life. And this is how you're going to decide to live the rest of your life. <clears throat> Alright, what do you want me- I, I'll watch the other one on YouTube after. But, uh, what- what do you want? You want her to kill- kill her fucking mom for fucking no reason? How come I can't scroll? How come I can't scroll right now? I don't even have the option. How come I can't scroll? It's not even letting me! I'm scrolling! Like, what the... It's not even letting me do the second... Oh! Oh, sorry, I thought it was... Oh, oh... I had to actually move my mouse to the other... I thought it was... Believe Tom's version, and then... Marianne did not threaten Tyler as two options. I thought it was a scroll thing, like every other thing in this game has been. Sorry. Jesus Christ, that was weird. Okay, you're a mur- You're a murderer, Allison! You're a fucking murderer! I like how they took away the agency from the trans character so that the trans character doesn't get to decide what happens in the story, but this this bitch does. Nothing that he says matters. Way to be progressive, don't nod. You interrupted her and we we got confused. Are you sure? Yes. That attic. Tyler, that was meant for us. It was our way of... of explaining what she was going through. I made a horrible mistake. Oopsie! <laughs> I killed hey, my mom. Hey, it's okay. I'm here. I mean, if you look at the autopsy, technically she drowned. The, the scissoring didn't kill her. You scissored your mom, but that's not what killed her. It was the drowning. What a day! <laughs> hey, peep what I just found downstairs. Peep what I just found downstairs. <laughs> Would have aged well, or just gone bad. <laughs> You're gonna need a drink. I'm not the one who killed my fucking mom. <laughs> Did we find out, like, whether or not she was kind of a transphobe? Like, <gasps> is that left up to interpretation? I say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. Yeah, you maybe can't. you should have believed her. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. It's okay. She it's might have been J.K. Rowling. And I... I mean, she was just talking to him either way. I killed her. Stop. <sighs> uh. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. Why? Seriously. Tell me why! I but I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without This it. might be the bad ending. 
This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. You and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't okay. think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But... <clears throat> I really want to keep what makes us... Us. Tyler! The Mad Hunter. Puff! To remain below the lake with the moon wow, more bullshit, terrible stories from mom. Because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, <coughs> like the day he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess. Singular brother and sister, idiot. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. Okay. And then they fucked. And it wasn't incest. Because if you change your gender, you are letting go of your old self. So technically, they're not related. The end. Ah, what a happy ending. <coughs> That was bullshit. <laughs> oh, six months later, and she is six months pregnant. You wouldn't think it would work, but it does. Tell me why. Life sure is trans, isn't it, Eric? One last look. I'm good to go. They really did not do a great job animating this eagle. This is the second time we've seen it, at least. Oh. I like that it was a real eagle sound. All right, phone in the wrist. Phone in the wrist. Are we gonna get phone in the wrist? Let me click on some shit. Listen, Ty, you're dropping off. Ty, 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 Ty. Phone in the wrist. Phone in the wrist. We need phone in the wrist. That's it then. How's Juno? Big and full of people. Even with phone in the wrist. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against. We need it. Food policy. Don't let me down. Until I get there. Okay. Don't let me down, don't nod. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need like twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. Oops, I already said that. You know, Fuck. Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there. Okay. Okay, but you better hurry. 
If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need like heresy snack cakes after my surgery next time. I know, right? This cannot stand. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know. I like how his voice is far away and the phone is like in our ears. The observatory really needed me this week, and after everything, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some Gail. She assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, uh, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, think I should swing by the store for one final fuck off? <laughs> See you never, Vecchies. I gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay, I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Alice Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. Where are you putting the phone? Where are you putting the phone? Where are you putting the phone? All the things he said, all the things he said, running through my head, running through... Oh, the phone went back in a normal spot. Oh, man. Disappointment. It's just in his butt. <laughs> Wow, we learned so much. All the things you said, all the things you said, running through my head, running through my head, running through my head. Meow, 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 my sister's a fucking murderer. <laughs> My mom died for no reason. Time to move on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> what a fucking stupid game. The story is just so bad. All right, anything more in the house I should be doing? At least it let me run instead of just walking that entire time. Ugh. Man, seeing it empty is so weird. But at least it's the last time I'll ever have to. <sighs> they were spending taxpayer money trying to catch a male thief that turned out to be a raccoon. Take. Take them all. Should pick up Alice and stuff on my way out. Turns out you didn't need our help losing the election, Tom. I really didn't care about that whole subplot. It wasn't properly developed or anything. Senpai. 
So kawaii. Lock her up. Lock her up. Oh, we got reflections. Awesome. <laughs> Your sister's a murderer. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, man on the moon. Oh, my God. Perfect. You're unbearable. Yeah, goodbye, Broom Raper. Lean. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fixit. Ding ding. <laughs> wow, cool. Troll faces. <laughs> oh, oh. Dinner wasn't that good. I should have probably run these by his place. Or just Let's go! Annual queer prom. Aw, dreamy sigh. Did you literally say dreamy sigh out loud by yourself? What the fuck? Was that like a misinterpretation of the script? Was he supposed to do a dreamy sigh? Like, ah. Was he supposed to do that, and he just said it out loud? There's no way that was... Aw, dreamy sigh. Why has everything got to be so cringe? Why has everything got to be like the... Cr it's not, like, quirky. It's not cute. Is that Master Chief? Oh, no! Why do they got to put Halo in this game? I like Halo. Damn it! They put Bright Eyes in Life is Strange, and they put fucking Master Chief... And tell me why. Ugh. Pissing me off. Can I leave? Like, where do I go? Can I just drive away? Aw, uh, dreamy sigh. Sand pies in this. Sand pies? I hope sand pie notices me. Still no beavers. <laughs> well, yep, not after the operation. <laughs> Gameplay! Skipping stones! Nope. Cutscene. Never mind. No gameplay. <laughs> All right. Can I leave? Oh yeah, the game's about climate change again. Yeah, kind of. Pretends to be at points. Can I go? Like what am I doing here? What do I have to do to leave? Sit. Cart. I did the car door. I did that. <sighs> I did that. I'll do it again. Actually, yeah. Everything really is. I've done that, but I'll do it again. It just it's just an examine option. That's it. I don't get an option to leave. Ooh. 
Look. I should grab the rest of my stuff before I head. What stuff? Oh my god, I clicked everything. Turn. Turn. You're not really turning it. You're tilting it. Learn English. It says right click to leave? Yeah, I press right click to leave. And that makes me exit the vehicle. That's what it means. Not leave town. It's to leave the examine option in the vehicle. Like, the right- see- see this? See this right here? See the right click to leave right here? That's the same thing. That's what I did. Apparently I have to pick up more shit. The laptop? I did the lap- I pressed everything on the laptop. I've been in every room and I've clicked on everything. Apparently I'm missing something though. In the kitchen maybe? No. Tell me why I can't end this game. Tell me why I never wanted to be gay. Tell me why I am looking at this troll face. God, this game is lame. Barn? I'll do it again. I swear I've been there, though. I swear I've been there. I've read that, too. I can't even move! I can't even move! Holy fucking Christ, I'm stuck! It's literally not letting me move. I'm gonna have to click look again. Hear the typing on the keyboard? I'm gonna- hopefully it'll let me move after... Leave. There! Holy Christ, what is wrong with this game? Barn again? Like, I've done this! I've clicked on ev- Just let me end the fucking game! So I go near the house... That wasn't his stuff? I don't know, I've clicked on everything! So I go to the house, I look at the door, he says... I should grab the rest of my stuff. I should I grab out. the rest of my stuff before I head out. And I click on this. Examine, out, that's it. I don't have any down. options for that. I click on this, I've done this. Pick up Allison's stuff on my way out. Pick up Allison's stuff? What? Is there another room that I missed? I don't see anything anywhere that I can pick up. I have one thing in my inventory that's the, uh... Pictures or whatever. Take- I can take the laptop now. Jesus Christ! I didn't have that option before! I didn't have the take laptop option! Fuck! Let me leave! It's frozen me again! It froze me again! No! No, I can't- I'm not close enough to anything to click on it! Fuck! I'm not close enough to anything to click on it, and I'm frozen again! The only time I've gotten out of being frozen is by clicking on something! I'm not close enough! Fuck! I gotta do this again! Fuck! I was so close to leaving! Fuck! This is so bull- I cannot fucking- you didn't make a real game! You didn't make a real game! I can't even leave! This is bullshit! Fuck! I wonder how far back I have to go. Ah! I was so close to being done! Skip! Life is Strange gave me a skip option! Give me a skip option!
Uh, no skip option. Shift, spacebar, escape, enter, backspace. One last look. I'm good to go. Left click, right click, no skip. Fucking god. <laughs> S? No, not happening. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting I have to listen to, to this out. whole conversation so, again. Chance. Is there anything you want me to do? This is what I need to pick up these two items. Two items. Tina, two items. Yep. Two items. Let me do it. Well, that's it then. Gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay, I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible. Fucking. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Phone in the wrist. Nope. Examine. Look. All right. Leave. Take. Please don't s freeze me. Please don't freeze me. Please. I can't move. Oh my god! I can move. Thank you, God. <laughs> Look. Take. Go. Get out of here. I am not sending you pictures. <laughs> Leave the house for good option. They make bad games. Well, this is goodbye for real. <laughs> I guess. We learned so much. What what a journey. Fjord. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out places. It's time. Tyler Ronan? I, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going along with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say... I'm gay. Well, you were right. About grief. About it going in. <laughs> this morning. I gotta pee again already. I was out on the porch staring at the fog. And my mother. This game makes me drink. She. She just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. Well, I didn't have to pee for the first like three hours and then. Felt good to remember. It felt good to remember in figuring out that my sister killed my mom for no reason at all. Anyway, it felt really good to remember this. Give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. <sighs> Tell me why you thought this was an appropriate game to release to the public. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I guess I'm gonna click on the other ending. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna get a trailer for the next project? Nope. Allison was <laughs> disappointed Tyler forced the chest open. I forced it open? Oh. Oh, okay. I f Why does that matter? <laughs> I didn't force it open. I guessed the password from chat. I believe Tom's testimony 
uh, trusted their bond and kept their voice. Oh, wow. 3% let it go. I'm in the ma majority here. Uh, I confronted Sam with ad his addiction, which is weird that I'm in the minority for that. 68% kissed Michael. Very cool. Oh, if you want to kill yourself after playing this game, probably don't do it. I know that we made this game and you might want to kill yourself. <laughs> so, just letting you know there are options available. I didn't get this option any- <laughs> I didn't get this option before this chapter. I didn't get this option after any other chapter. <laughs> cool! That was great. All right. Um... Mad Hunter ending and Ellison ending. All right, so which one? Mary Ann did not threaten Tyler. Do we have a better quality one? Secret ending? What the? This is shit I did. They were inseparable, but as she grew old, Oh. To tell. Maybe not. On ahead to let you know I'm on my way. Secret ending. Why secret? Okay. Well. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. I'm just gonna click on this. I th okay. 720p60. This is fine. There we go. All right, only like six minutes more of this bullshit. I swear to fucking God. I'll be right back. I gotta pee real quick. <laughs> I rip the skin, it gets bigger when I pull up. <laughs> Sometimes I pull up on it so hard, I rip the skin. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Our dad taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since there's such good size in the home. Yeah, I see that. Daddy gave me good advice. My daddy taught me a few things too, like uh, how not to rip the skin by using someone else's mouth. Well. My daddy taught me a few things too, like uh, will you show me? I'd be right happy to. Oh, oh yeah, shit! I'm sorry. Things mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. like, uh, All right. All right. <laughs> All right. YouTube ending time. Coat glitched out again. Mom was lying. Marianne couldn't face being separated from her kids again. And the only way to make sure that never happened was to kill her children? Of us to go together. What? Okay, you're in my heart. these glitches in your coat. I saved you. I saved us. I know. I like how she not only says she tried to kill you, but she fully rationalizes her decision to do it. Like, she doesn't just say, oh yeah, she tried to kill you. She says, this is why. It's understandable. Yeah, you know, I'd probably do it too. Ha! <laughs> Father! Yeah, it was one of those. So far, this is the same. This is, like, the exact same. I'm going to be pissed that it's not different at all. <laughs> hey, peep what I just found downstairs. The same? What do you think? The same. A little aged well, or just gone bad? Nothing matters! <laughs> Do 
Cheers, I guess. I'm glad he's the one man spreading. I can't believe Tom thought we'd buy that story. Slightly different. That I almost did. Yeah. I still can't believe he and Marianne. What the hell did she see in him? She was probably just really, really lonely after she lost Leo. I could never get that lonely. Ugh. Listen, with everything that's been going on, it got me thinking about our voice. Like, that maybe we should stop- This is the same fucking thing! This morning, I kept getting these- This is the same! You and Mary- this Different. It was all my worst thoughts. This is the same me. shit! Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been- You were in the bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I I don't think it will. Like, I want, I want like, a different answers. ending to be, like, and maybe a different scene. <laughs> like, and if it's a different bad, scenery. But... I really want to keep what makes us... us. This is fucking garbage. The mad hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the moon hag, but she did not kill him. Because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. The fuck? Low, he plotted what do you the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. I can't believe how fucking terrible this is. I mean, I can, but. Goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. What the fuck? This is nothing. What the fuck? What is this secret ending? Six months later. So now she is moving out. It's good to hear your voice. What's going on? I could use a good kick in the pants. No! Ah! I'm trying to sit down and write a new story, but she's moving in. It off. So they don't sell the house in this ending. Yeah, I guess a sort of sequel. That's awesome. I'd love to find out what happens to those two. <laughs> Thanks. That's what I needed to hear. How's life in the big city? Juno is cool. Cool? Okay, I'm a convert. Everyone at the JCE has been so welcoming, and I went to a march last week. Look at you, Mr. Socialite. Okay. Did you get my text about Tom losing the election? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. Or sorry. Or anything. Fuck that guy. Ooh, speaking of telling Tom to fuck off, Tessa left him. <laughs> Finally, God. I really hope she told him to stuff it. <laughs> In the name of the father. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, time for me to get going. Okay, but real quick, everything good with the house? Yeah, I'm starting to make it mine. To tame it, if you will. You think you made the right call staying? Yeah. yeah. I think so. 
even after everything. This feels like where I need to be right now. Maybe that's a good thing to write about then. You know what? That's not a bad idea, actually. Okay, but you better give me credit if you do. Will do. Love you. Love you too, sis. More pleasant than writing right now. How is it that fixing the sink sounds more pleasant than- Oh, God. Nut! The cuteness. Oh, no! Hey, Allison. Guess you're not answering your landline either. Just wanted to check in and see if we're still on for dinner tomorrow. I'm making my special Eddie-licious fish tacos. Oh, uh, sorry. <sighs> uh, Mayor Scro just walked in my office. Love you, little moose. Little moose. Hey, princess. So, wait a well, minute. Um, uh, Never mind. Like you asked, and calling ahead to let you know I'm on my way out to replace that door. So, um, that's up. See you soon. Cool. Almost feel bad for Tom? Nope. Boring. Come on, Allison. Light it up. Let's help. Did she just lick it? Like <laughs> Write the final chapter! Ah! A friend? What is that? The princess frowned, for she realized that the two tiny thieves were as lonely as she was. A friend is someone you love and care for. It's like the end of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> never hurt. Yeah, right. An unexpected journey. She didn't really write the final chapter, though. What did she just do? She just read a, a bit. <sighs> she writing it now? Once upon a time in an ancient and deep forest. There lived a solitary goblin in a big wooden house. She was hella gay! That goblin had not always been so solitary. She had a twin, and when they were younger, they were inseparable. Together, they rescued princesses and outsmarted ice trolls and even trapped a mad hunter. But as she grew older, the goblin sister decided that she'd had enough of adventures. So while her brother went out to explore the world, she stayed behind as guardian of the big wooden house. Uh, why are you keeping photos of, like, the dead name version of your fucking brother? You transphobe? It's not on all of us to adventure. Some must stay behind to tell the story and to hold shelter. Allison's a goddamn turf. For those who may come back, 
those who never left. Cool. Gayest shit ever. Boat. Oh, okay. What I just realized at this moment right now is that these videos that we found showing the endings, 3.5 thousand views. 2.9 thousand views. Nobody bought this game, apparently. Did nobody play this? None of these have over 5,000 views. This is insane. This is absolutely in None of these have... Except this one, Chapter 1 Ending. By Generic Gaming. Who has over 248,000 subscribers. Nobody gives a shit. They're going... This is my prediction. They have to. They have to bring back Max and Chloe because nobody's playing their games except me. Nobody's playing their games except me. Literally, like, whoa, nobody... Two weeks... Two weeks ago, it got less than 7,000 views. Wow. This is, like, significantly worse than Life is Strange 2, and even that was a gigantic drop-off. Holy fucking Christ. That's insane. My god. Search gameplay? Well, I'm sure gameplay has some. But, like, gameplay is based on who is subscribed to the channel. The... The different endings options is a reflection of who has played the game and would like to see the other ending. Yeah, we got some with like 100,000, 150,000. These channels have... Hey 3.46 million and 2.27 million subscribers, so it even seems low. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. For several... Oh my god, nobody's playing this game! Nobody's playing it. Does the... None of the trailers have even, like, over... This this, this one has 212,000 views, and that one's, like, the highest viewed trailer. My god, nobody played this. Holy shit. Oh, here we go. Announcement trailer nine months ago. 300,000 views. Nine months ago. That's the highest one. Holy shit! Nobody played this game! I'd imagine this is like a financial failure for them. Watch the review. There's a... I downvoted it. Oh. <laughs> Where's the review? This by IGN. I'm not gonna like nuance between the lightness and darkness of their mom. Okay, I'll I'll watch it in two times speed because I don't want to be like copyright infringing them. There are no facts. First hand accounts have an inherent subjectivity to them. People lie and memories fade. All of this is what's meant to make Tell Me Why so intriguing. But while the characters and world are burning with charm, pulling the thread to reveal the secrets of this fictional Alaskan town's not so mysterious murder proves to be the least compelling part of the whole adventure. You switch between the perspectives of twins Allison and Tyler Ronan, reunited 10 years after their mother's death. Over the course of eight and a half hours that span three episodes, the two prepare to sell their childhood home, which proves to be both a physically and emotionally exhausting task. But despite being completely separate from Don't Nod's Life is Strange universe, Tell Me Why similarly veers into the supernatural, primarily through Allison and Tyler's ability to speak telepathically and rewatch ghostly replays of key childhood Yeah. Movies. These visions let you see more of the twins' past. The supernatural the element was completely off. irrelevant, honestly. It mirrors the relationship perfectly. And on a practical note, it allows you to remember details to confront folks in town and get the answers you're looking for. We're back with details that should help you remember. Spoiler alert for the first moments of the story. Upon starting Tell Me Why, you immediately see a flashback that reveals how one twin killed their mom in self-defense. That the killing took place is never in doubt. The central conflict is instead figuring out what drove a mother to threaten her own child. So is this... Did this play all three chapters? ...and never explored for mental health issues with any doubt. One of the best ideas is that sometimes Allison and Tyler have different memories of the same event, forcing you to choose which memory to believe. I found myself almost equally split between them, which is a testament to how fleshed out... This is only the first chapter. That you know what you're looking for, this is only the first story. chapter. Why am I watching? Wait. This is the second chapter here. 
Tell me why has a trans character front and center, and it's mostly well handled by Donut. We learn about Kyler's identity and the trans man not through the bigotry he experiences, or by seeing an old ID card in it, but you didn't see that coming, cliche, but by exploring his room as he packs his things into conversations with his sister. It makes sense, since that's the same way we learn about everything in Delos Crossing. Nah, sorry. I'm more of a T person. Get it? Similarly, Plinket culture is also highlighted in the environment and key characters in a way that feels natural. It's also highlighted in the environment and key Plinket culture. Is similarly, Plinket culture. Plinket culture? Plinket culture? Similarly, Plinket culture is. This is the most disappointing review since my son. Also highlighted in the environment and key characters in a way that feels natural for the rural Alaska setting throughout. However, the story invokes transphobia early on, only to quickly switch gears after episode one. It's an unnecessary bait and switch. Exploring the trauma story, don't not stated publicly, it was actively trying to avoid. While Tell Me Why largely handles its discussions around transphobia and bigotry well, there are times it feels more like a dream scenario than a realistic depiction. It's an earnest attempt to include important conversations that few games do, but don't not struggle to walk the line between being true to the persecution Tyler may experience as a trans man and telling a story where that experience is just a small part of a larger story. Tell me why is well-written dialogue, a mundane yet charming exploration, and whimsical fairy tale angle makes digging into the town of Dallas Crossing a good story with decent puzzles. It's just that the low stakes decisions and an underwhelming mystery plot left me searching for more depth and consequences in Seven. Why? Check out the opening minutes of chapter one. And of course, for everything else video games, keep it here on IGN. Okay, that was a review of the whole thing. Seven out of ten. Well written. This isn't life is strange. <laughs> Yeah, this is a full gameplay video. I don't give a shit. Um, yeah, I should go to bed. I should go to bed. I got the podcast to record in the morning. So, um, yeah, I barely got sleep last night, too. So, no, I'm not staying with you. No, that's a bad idea. I'm talking about the new Kaufman in the morning. And I also, like, I gotta wake up at a good time, I gotta give my roommate a ride somewhere, and I gotta watch a bunch of film fest movies, so I'm, like, pretty fucking packed tomorrow, so, yeah, no fucking way, sorry. Um, anyway, thank you for hanging out. Is Brad, Brock, Brock Baker streaming? Sure. All right. All right, peace out, everybody. Love you guys. Might be streaming during the week, might do some editing. Um, otherwise catch you later uh, I'm giving this game uh, 1 out of 10 goodbye everybody uninstall that bullshit ouch they probably made zero dollars peace out <laughs>